All right, live coverage here on ESPN News. We send you out to Greensboro. Duke, they advance to the Sweet 16. Their coach, Coach K, talking about the win. James is as good as anybody. And we just, you have to battle every possession. We got that 10 point lead, and uh, then Abrams gets three free throws, and then it gets down to the end. And uh, there's so much game pressure on these kids. And Kyle made one of the most spectacular tip ins. You know, to put us up by two, you know, just a tremendous tip. And, and then we played good D. Uh, you know, everybody on the court did something really well after Kyle fouled out. Um, you know, Dave, uh, on the missed free throw, you know, keeping the ball alive. Obviously, G hitting free throws, but coming up with a loose ball. You know, Elliot making, getting a loose ball. Uh, and, and John you know, making that play, it'll go down as one of the great plays for this team. You know, just hustle and threw it down the court, and then our guys ran after it like crazy. And uh, it's just a big time play. And they, those, you know, I'm, I'm so happy for our guys. They've, they've, been, they've been such a good team to coach. I love my team immensely, and I'm, I'm happy for them. Um, and especially after beating such a good team. I mean, Rick's team is just a very, very good basketball team. So any questions for the players and, and obviously then me? The yeah, players remember, first, right? Right. Remember to raise your hand, listen on who you, who you are, who you're with, wait for the handheld mic. Back left. Uh, John, when you, when you grabbed the loose ball and began to, began to throw it, did, were you conscious of getting it a long way down the court but not throwing it too hard as to, as to throw it up over the baseline? Um, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, I was just trying to get it out of there. I mean, it worked out pretty well where it landed. I couldn't, couldn't tell you I was positive that's where it was going. But obviously, I just want to give uh, one of our guys a chance to make a play. I, I didn't know who was behind me, so I didn't obviously just want to give the ball, you know, right back. And I knew that there's, I don't know what the time was on the clock, but obviously time was an issue. So I was just trying to get it down the court and, uh, you know, give one of my teammates the chance to go get it. I think a real critical thing in that is he didn't throw it back towards their bucket. He threw it towards our bucket. And if nothing else, if they got it, they, had, they would come up against a set defense. Uh, you know, those are plays that, you know, you think of Magic Johnson making. And, you know, people just really s smart making. You never thought I'd compare you to Magic Johnson, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. He Appreciate laughed. Him. He laughed. Oh, right. You laughed. <laughs> no, he... But, you know, Heady play. That was just a really good play, Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. To our right. Rob Salibi, I don't know. Um, Coach K, uh, do you feel like you did a good job containing A.J. Abrams? I thought, you know, he, I thought we did a good job of him. You don't you, you try to limit him from having a great game. I thought he had a good game. Uh, and he causes you to make so many switches that it opens up things. Like Ward really took advantage of it, but at least it wasn't Abrams doing it, you know, even though they were driving us there for a while. Uh, but overall, we did a, a good job on him, you know, and he's, such a, he's, he's just a quick trigger. He, he can really you – know, he's one of the best shooters we've played against in the last four years. Reminder, questions now for the student-athletes. Front left. Brett Friedlander, Wilmington Star News. Could you guys talk about, you know, the other day you had six guys in double figures. Today the scoring wasn't as balanced, but you had so many contributions by guys. Coach mentioned Zub and McClure and, and, and Elliott. Could you kind of address, you know, the contributions of those guys, especially late in the game? Um, you know, well, I think the other day was, you know, more on just, um, you know, the scoring. It was more balanced scoring. Today, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the same, but it was more just playmaking. Um, you know, with Elliot, you know, making some good plays, Lance making some good plays. Um, you know, it's just overall good play and not just, you know, scoring the basketball. Uh, just throughout the whole season, um, you know, kind of like a theme of our team is, you know, not really the, the role playing guys. I mean, we, we all have roles on the team, but Zubes, Dave, Elliot, um, they all have, you know, opportunities to make plays. Um, and, you know, I think they've done a great job over the last couple of weeks of making the simple plays. 
and um, well, not really simple, but you know, making tough plays, just uh, little things that might go unnoticed, and um, those are the types of plays that they make. You know, I thought. Um well, once again, Duke, they advanced to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2006. So Coach Big 